Hi, this is a chair-based exercise program for older adults. We'll be using a sturdy chair and a set of weights if you have them. And I recommend using a low level weight like one, two, or three pounds and five pounds at the max. So once you have all your things set up, we'll go ahead and get started. And we'll just start by tapping those toes out. You're welcome to play any music that you enjoy while we're doing this. So just tapping right and left, right out in front of you. Make sure that any of the exercises you do that's going to feel good inside your body and there's not anything that's causing you any pain. We'll do a few more of those. And then we're going to do the same tap to the front, but instead we're going to use our heel. We're going to do a heel dig out to the front. And then we're going to switch this. We're going to tap it now out to the side. So bring it out, tap, tap. So we're going to move our whole leg out to the side. Just kind of pick up that leg and tap it out. You don't have to go as fast as me. Just go at your own pace. So it feels good to you. As long as you're going right and left, that's fine. Do about four more. Okay, bringing those legs up to a small knee lift. So right, left, just a tiny little lift. Doesn't have to be too high. Here we go. I thought you'd be camera shy, do, but I guess that's not the case. Do four more. Okay, next one is a leg extension. So taking that right leg out, you're gonna squeeze those top thigh muscles and then bring the leg back down. So just alternating right and left. Again, you're going at what pace feels good to you. Engaging those quadricep muscles, the front part of the thigh. Extending out and coming in. Try four more. We're doing a little side bend. We're gonna just reach that left arm up as the right arm reaches down and then switch. So we're just leaning to the side with that spine and just alternating those arms. Right and left. Really reach up as high as you can before you lean to the side. And then opening up those arms, we're just going to cross and open, cross, open. Okay, just uh, alternating which one goes on top. And then opening those arms all the way like this with your arms in a kind of a 90 degree angle and just close and open, taking that chest and back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, bring those arms out. We'll do some arm circles. They're small circles, maybe the size of a basketball or beach ball. And then opposite direction. And then taking those palms, palms up, palms down, palms up, palms down. Three, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, 
And one. Okay, you might have felt that in your shoulders by now. If you have weights, you can go ahead and grab them. If you don't have weights, you can just squeeze the muscle as we're doing the exercise. I recommend, you know, being cautious um, when you go to lift up those weights as you're kind of bending and leaning. So just really uh, engage those abs as you come up. Arms are straight down from the shoulders. We're going to do bicep curls first. You're kind of just squeezing that muscle that's in the front part of the arm. As you come up, we're going to alternate right and left. Again, you're just going as fast as it feels comfortable, not too fast so that you're swinging. So nice and controlled. And if you don't have weights, you can just squeeze that upper arm. Now, my weights are heavier than I'm recommending. I don't have the lower weights with me at home, so I'm using these. I recommend using one, two, three, four, or five pound weights. I'll try about 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, this next one, you're gonna lean forward with that left arm on your thigh. You have this weight in your hand, although if you wanna set it down, you can. I, I am actually kind of thinking we should. And this one's a little tricky. I want you to bring your elbow into your rib cage. I want you to think about that you just glued your elbow into your rib cage. So you don't move your upper arm, you only move your lower arm. So you're allowing that elbow to hinge as you kick that weight back, working the back of the upper arm, the triceps. So you have a nice good lean forward here. We're supporting our weight with that forearm and we're allowing that weight to swing forward. Nice and controlled. Again, keeping that elbow glued into our waist and that upper arm is glued into the rib cage. So we're just moving our forearm, our lower arm. Let's try six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we'll switch sides. Again, that forearm comes down. This helps support your weight because you're leaning forward. Bring that arm so that the elbow squeezes in. If you have like a hand towel around, you can also put a towel in between that upper arm and your rib cage. And if it falls out, that means you're not squeezing and holding it in like you're supposed to. So that's another technique to try. So keeping that elbow glued into that waist, you're gonna start kicking back. It's working your triceps, that muscle in the back of the upper arm. So nice and slow and controlled. By keeping that elbow glued into your rib cage and your waist, helps keep that shoulder in a neutral position to protect that shoulder joint so you're not feeling it up in here. Okay, you'll need to pick up your other weight now. We're gonna do some shoulder exercises. So you're gonna bring those weights right in front with the elbows right below where the wrists are. The wrists are right below the handles of the weights. And you're gonna just guide the elbow right under the wrist as you press up and slightly forward. Just like if you're gonna pick something up and put it up in the cupboard in front of you. So just alternating right and left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, great job. Go ahead and put your weights down. This next exercise is a chair stand. So you can either have your arms across your chest or you might want to put your hands at your thighs to kind of help support yourself. You're going to lean forward, press your weight into your heels and sit up to a standing position and then come back down to your chair. 
and press the head up. So it's kind of mimicking a squat. We're using our chair. It's a nice functional exercise to really engage all those muscles involved in sitting and standing or going from the seated position to the standing position. And option to go right here or using those hands to press off and for balance. Try more, six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Okay, now that we're standing, we're gonna to move to the side of our chair. I just want you to be cautious if you have your weights on the floor that you're not gonna trip on them. So walking around those weights, I'm gonna grab one of your weights and one foot forward and one foot back. You're gonna bring that hand onto the seat of your chair. And as you do that, you don't wanna to press too much weight into that. We're just allowing some support for that back. And we're gonna just row and pull that one arm up. As you do that, try to keep a nice neutral position with your back and you're looking straight down. And you're just pulling that elbow nice and close by your waist as you pull up and squeeze that shoulder blade in the back. Letting that arm come straight down from the shoulder. Four more, four. Three, two, and one. And we'll go ahead and switch sides. Again, be careful of that other weight that you have down there. Do one foot forward, one foot back. Bring that hand right on the seat of the chair. The other hand straight down from the shoulder. And we'll pull. Keeping that elbow right by the waist as you pull up and then it comes straight down from the shoulder. Neutral position with the back and neck. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, this one you're going to go around to the back of your chair and I recommend that we're done with our weight. So if you could move your weights out of the way. You're going to move to the back of your chair. However, I am going to just turn mine so you can see a little bit better. You're going to use your chair for balance. So you can hold on to the back of your chair. You're going to balance on one leg to start and just roll that ankle around. And reverse. And then switch, bring the other leg up. Just hold that balance for a moment. And then rotate that ankle around. And reverse. Okay, from here you can be facing your chair with your hands on the back of it. If you do want a nice straight position with your spine, your heels are directly under those hips. We're gonna do some calf raises. So come up to the balls of your feet. more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna lift those toes up, eight, seven, this might be a little bit harder, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then we're gonna combine those two together. So we're gonna do heel raise, to raise, heel raise, to raise, heel, toe. And as you do that toe, see if you can keep that hip nice and straight so you're not rocking back. Four more, four, three, two, 
and one. Okay, from here we're gonna do some hamstring crawls. So you're just gonna pull that heel up as close as you can towards your bottom, keeping your thighs at the same together and the knee pointing down to the ground. Pull the other one up. Now one of my legs isn't gonna go up as high. So I'm still recovering from knee surgery. So I'm just gonna go up as high as I can. Pulling that heel towards the bottom, that's working the hamstring, the muscle in the back of the thigh. So I'm alternating legs. You could do eight on the left and eight on the right, or 10 on the left and 10 on the right, or you can alternate like me. Whatever feels more comfortable. One more, four, three, two, and one. All right, next up, you can stay facing your chair like this. I'm just gonna turn so you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna balance on one leg again, bringing that leg out to the side. Just side leg lift, and you wanna have that toe pointing straight forward, maybe just a little bit in. Just a slight lift to the side. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then you'll switch and do the other leg. Bring it out to the side. Again, you have that toe straight forward or maybe slightly turned in. One more, four, three, two, and one. Okay, from here, we're gonna do a knee raise and a kick back. So I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see what that looks like from this angle. I'm gonna do bring that knee up, step down, and then pull back. And this is back, so just a few inches, squeezing that glute muscle back there. Coming back in, knee, squeeze, knee, squeeze. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and last one. Okay, switching over to the other leg. Knee raise, squeeze the glute. Knee, and then eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and last one. Okay, good job. Okay, next up, we are um, gonna do just a little side bend. So we're gonna bring those hands above um, or behind our head, the elbows back. I'm just gonna lean to the side and lift back up. Side. Four, three, two, and one. And then switch the other way for eight of these. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're ready for a stretch. You're gonna to turn to that chair, one foot forward, one foot back. You're gonna bend that front leg as you kind of push your weight forward with that back leg nice and um, straight. You should feel that back in your calf. If you don't, 
If your toes pointed out to the side, just kind of bring it so that it's facing the front. And then you can bend that back knee just a little bit. I'll bring the stretch back to the soleus, the muscle behind the calf. And then straighten once again. And then we'll switch sides, bring the other leg back. Nice lunge position. So weight comes forward, keeping that knee above the ankle, back leg is straight, hips forward, toes both pointing forward. And then bending that back knee in just a little bit. Okay, let's go have a seat back on our chair. If you have a hand towel that you want to use, you can use that to kind of lasso around your foot and pull it in. If you don't, you're just going to extend out one of your legs and reach down toward those shoelaces. You can lift that foot up if it feels comfortable. And then switch sides. And then um, bringing the heels underneath the knees, we're just going to reach down on the edges of our, our, our legs, switching on our back. And then before you come up, bring those hands to your thighs and support your weight as you lengthen out your spine and then come up with a nice straight back to a seated position. You bring that right arm out to the side. We're going to cross it over to a shoulder stretch. And then over to the opposite side. And then bringing those hands behind our head, we're gonna pull those elbows back, opening up to the chest. And then bringing that chin in and elbows in. sitting up nice and tall we're going to bring our ear over to the right shoulder and coming back up and bring the ear over to the left shoulder and coming up and then you're going to turn and look over your right shoulder as much as you can And opposite direction. And then back to center. Go ahead and clasp those hands like this, and you're just going to make a circle with those wrists. In an opposite direction. We'll take a nice deep breath in and exhale out. And we'll do that one more time. And now arms up and exhale out. All right, thanks for joining me today.